Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Managing Your Review License Inventory. I am Sarah Green, the Director of Operations here at Orange Blade Consultants. Uh, I recommend um, if you're available to take notes, um, you, there are some probably some things you're going to want to write down, but um, we will also be um, recording this web webinar and we'll post it to our website at www.orangeblade.com. Um, you can send any questions that you might have since we're not moderating this webinar to bluebeam at orangeblade.com. And we will also post it to the OBC YouTube channel, the Twitter page at Orange Blade, and the OBC Facebook page. Diving right in, the license lookup page. The Blue Beam license lookup page gives you your current license count, the number of installed seats, and the number of available seats, as well as a list of installed computers. The license lookup page can be found at www.bluebeam.com slash reglookup. In order to access the Bluebeam license lookup, you'll need your serial number, product key, and the registered email address for that serial info. This info was sent via email when you purchased. If you can't find it in the email history, you can also get the info from the help menu of your review software seat by clicking help and then about. If you still can't find it, contact us. I, I'm Sarah Green, 480-559-8670, extension 104. But anybody can help you um, that answers the phone here at Orange Blade as well. When you do log into the license lookup page, this is the screen that you'll see. License key lookup. You, as I said before, you'll need your serial number, the product key, and the registered email address. Once you click get list, this is the license info that will populate for you. The product name, which is the version that you're running, the serial number and product key, which you should already have at that point. If you are currently running on uh, maintenance, yes or no. The users that are allowed on that serial number or the seats, the number of seats allowed and the users that are installed. So um, on this example, 100 seats are allowed, but only five are being used right at that moment. And then from those five, as you'll see here, the five that are installed, this is a question that we hear quite frequently, who is using it? These are the computers here that are installed with that serial number. And this is info that is, um, that is on your computers. This is not info that we have entered or that Bluebeam has entered. When the um, C was installed, this is the name of the computer that installed it. How to find out what version you're currently running. Open review, click help, and then about. And the version is at the top left of the window above the license agreement. Help, then about, and this is what you'll see. This version is Bluebeam Review Extreme, version 2017. How to uninstall review from the original computer when you intend to install it on a new machine. For example, your computer, you feel like your computer is going to crash or you're getting ready to get a new computer. This is how you would uninstall it from the old computer in order to install it on your new computer when you don't intend to use the old computer again. Click Start and Control Panel. Click Uninstall a program or programs and features. Right click on Bluebeam Review and then click Uninstall. It, is, it should be noted that when you're upgrading to the newest version of Review, ensure that you are installing the upgrades on all the same computers and not new machines without first uninstalling from the former machine. Otherwise, you run the risk of over installation and this could limit your use of inventory. If you have questions about that, please feel free to email me and I can explain it um, in more detail to you. How to unregister review from the original computer when you intend to install or use on a new machine and return later to the original PC. So this is you are using your PC at the office and you wanna take your laptop home and work on a project at home with your same seat of review. This is, the, um, this is the way that you would do that. 
And you can unregister a seat also without uninstalling it, which is what we recommend in these situations. From within review, go to the help menu and click the unregister button. That's it. Now you can install the same version and release the indicate and release indicated on your Bluebeam license certificate on the second PC. The first PC is now in, in, in an unregistered state, but you can easily register it again, making it usable. It's basically like hitting a light switch from one computer to the other. Um, I also want to mention, if you're doing this every night, um, unregistering it and then registering it on another computer, um, we would probably recommend that you, you sh get another seat if this is something you do frequently because you run the risk of um, you know, getting frazzled or distracted at the end of the day and forgetting to unregister and you get home and you realize that you've, you haven't unregistered and you still can't use that seat um, on your laptop until you unregister it from your PC. How to locate old licenses that you didn't know existed? Simple answer is just contact us. We will work with Bluebeam on your behalf to get you a detailed report of all serial numbers and versions that you or your company owns, and then work with you to manage all of that information. From consolidating the same versions to upgrading and adding maintenance to your current inventory, I'm happy to do the majority of the legwork to get your assets manageable. Talking a little bit about open licenses. When you have multiple users, open licenses make sense when you have multiple users, but all users don't need to access the licenses at the same time. An open license often serve it, serves three times the number of users. That's what we recommend. For example, 20 open licenses can serve 50 to 70 users, and your company's mileage may vary on that. Um, the client can run a hybrid of different releases. Um, if a client owns five open licenses, those seats can be a, a mix of multiple versions of 2016 or 2017, depending on your company's needs. And all open licenses are extreme versions, so you have the full power of review, and they renew annually. So it's an annual subscription. And uh, I also want to make sure everybody knows about volume discounts. In addition to the discount that you are likely to receive by purchasing from a Bluebeam reseller, Orange Blade Consultants also offers volume discounts for seat purchases of five or more in one transaction. When purchasing new or adding a seat, try to avoid, this is a little trick of the trade, the four, nine, or 24 seat count levels, as that next seat, when you purchase a five, a 10, or a 25 seat level, will bump your purchase into the next volume discount tier, and that next seat is usually close to free. And that's about it. I mean, those are the, the majority of the questions that we get on licensing. Um, like I said, this will be out there for you to view and reference anytime you need it. Um, but any questions that you have regarding anything that I've talked on today, please feel free to email us at bluebeam at orangeblade.com. Or again, you can give us a shout at 480-559-8670. Thanks so much for joining us today, um, and I hope you have a great rest of your week.